as vaccination is concerned. Uh, but you're right, we need to really see how do we sustain this. This has been a prog uh, ongoing process of how do we build up our vaccination, both in terms of centers, in terms of the supply chain, and reach a stage where we are confident that one could be able to give so many doses on a single day. The challenge, of course, are two. One is to get people to continue to come and get motivated like they were today to come for vaccination. This has been done also, if you remember, in the pulse polio drive that we had uh, people who could influence society to come on a particular day and do that. So that could be done by getting a lot of uh, people on board who can motivate people to come on a particular day by using the social media and then that will help to drive because it has to be a voluntary effort. People have to come to the site uh, and uh, be get themselves vaccinated. You may have everything in place, but if people don't turn up, then the vaccination drive will not work as efficiently as it should. I don't think that's should. a problem, no, Dr. Guleria, now? I mean, with, with so 2.5 now I plus, we have, I don't think this is Yeah, it's not hesitancy. a problem now, but we need to, like I said, to sustain it, we need to continue that motivation among the people who have not been vaccinated or have some degree of hesitancy, sure. so that for them, every day becomes a day where there is some motivation by someone who can influence them. It could be a cricket star, it could be a politician, it could be someone from the, uh, let's say, the movies or the uh, other media. So that type of a drive, if we continue to motivate people, at the same time, the systems are in place, I think we can continue to achieve this. And as Dr. Rohr has mentioned, that this is something which has uh, developed over a period of time. Correct. And one could fix, say, a day in the week or twice, uh, two days in a week where you could have this uh, aggressive drive 